gold. A metal so captivating it has fueled ambition and empires for millennia. However, the pursuit of this precious metal carries a dark secret, a history entwined with mercury, a substance both alluring and deadly. Mercury, known as Quicksilver, possesses a unique ability. It readily binds with gold, forming an amalgam, the bedrock of gold extraction for centuries. However, this historical alliance has come at a steep price, impacting human health and the environment. Mercury has been used to extract precious metals like gold and silver since 750 BC. While the technique has varied across different periods and parts of the world, the use of amalgamation alloying mercury with another metal historically shares many similarities with how the process is done today, according to IFL science. But how exactly can a liquid metal like mercury be used to separate tiny pieces of gold from rock? The process is typically carried out with gold-bearing rock, in which the gold pieces are so fine that other methods of separation are less effective. The liquid mercury is mixed with the rock and dissolves the gold flakes, leaving behind the rock and creating a gold mercury alloy called gold amalgam. Next, the crude gold amalgam needs to be separated from the unreacted mercury. This can be done by pouring the liquid over a porous material such as buckskin made from the hide of the chamois, rupicapra rupicapra, a goat antelope. This type of leather was and is popular due to its porosity, suppleness and smooth surface. The liquid that passes through is a purified form of gold amalgam. To turn the amalgam into pure gold, the mixture is heated to over 674.1 degrees Fahrenheit. At that temperature, mercury turns into a gas, leaving behind the gold, which has a much higher boiling point of 5136.8 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the above separation method produces a highly toxic form of mercury vapor which can damage the respiratory, gastrointestinal and central nervous systems. Symptoms from inhaling mercury vapour include shortness of breath, vomiting and headaches. For this reason, mercury is less commonly used as an industrial method for separating gold today. While the process is no longer used on an industrial scale, mercury is still prevalent in artisanal and small-scale gold mining, but its harmful effects have not diminished. According to a 2018 paper, the activity is now the largest source of mercury pollution on Earth with over 1,000 tonnes of mercury vapour released annually. Furthermore, the areas where such separation methods are still practised include many impoverished and exploited communities. An estimated 10-19 million people use mercury to mine for gold in over 70 countries. The vaporised mercury not only impacts the health of the miners but also the ecosystem through the contamination of water sources, soil, wildlife and food. However, there are some measures to reduce the amount of mercury vapour released. Efforts to equip miners with low-cost, portable mercury sensors are helping to lower the risk of exposure. With the help of scientists, environmentalists, public health officials and others, low-cost, mercury-free and easily scalable mining techniques are being introduced along with measures to prevent mercury from impacting fish and crops. The use of mercury in gold mining is a stark example of the unforeseen consequences for both human health and the environment. Mercury is widely used in the process of separating gold from ore, but few are aware of the serious risks it poses. Mercury vapour, invisible and odourless, can be inhaled, leading to serious health problems. As mercury vaporizes, it becomes an invisible threat, lingering in the air and easily entering the human body through breathing. Once inhaled, mercury accumulates in the body, wreaking havoc on vital organs. It can affect the nervous system, kidneys and other organs, causing irreversible damage. Symptoms range from tremors and memory loss to respiratory failure and even death. Those working in these environments often face serious health consequences that they are unable to avoid. Beyond human health, Mercury pollution disrupts aquatic ecosystems, impacting wildlife and the food chain. Mercury doesn't just stay in the air, it settles into the soil and water, contaminating the habitats of various species. The consequences are far-reaching, affecting both communities and the natural world. Communities living near gold mining areas often bear the brunt of the negative impacts, from poor health to a degraded environment. This not only affects the present, but also leaves a lasting legacy for future generations. Mercury maintains a strong grip on small-scale mining, particularly in developing countries. For many miners, 
the low cost and easy availability of mercury make it difficult to abandon this practice. This perpetuates a vicious cycle of poverty, health problems and environmental degradation. Breaking this cycle requires education, access to technology and economic incentives for responsible mining practices. The quest for gold doesn't have to be synonymous with environmental destruction and human suffering. In fact, there are ways to mine for gold without harming our planet. New technologies and methods are being developed to ensure that gold mining can be done sustainably and responsibly. Growing awareness about the impact of mercury has fueled a global movement towards safer alternatives. Global initiatives are underway to raise awareness about the dangers of mercury and encourage communities to transition to mercury-free mining methods. Gravity separation and the use of borax are promising technologies that eliminate the need for mercury. These methods are not only safer for the environment, but also protect the health of miners, reducing the risks associated with mercury exposure. Stricter regulations and educational programs offer hope for responsible gold mining. Governments and non-governmental organizations are working together to establish new regulations and provide training programs for miners, helping them understand safer and more sustainable mining practices. These efforts aim to protect human health and the environment, paving the way for a sustainable future. By embracing sustainable mining practices, we can ensure that gold mining not only brings economic benefits, but also preserves our planet for generations to come. The legacy of mercury in gold mining serves as a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of human health and the environment. Mercury not only contaminates water sources, but also has severe impacts on ecosystems and community health. These effects can persist for decades, causing health problems such as neurological disorders and other chronic illnesses. It's our collective responsibility to break the cycle of mercury dependence and create a sustainable future. Environmental activists and local communities are working tirelessly to clean up contaminated areas and raise awareness about the dangers of mercury. They organize community meetings, educational campaigns and environmental cleanup activities to protect our health and environment. Governments, industry leaders and consumers all have a role to play. Governments need to enact and enforce stricter regulations to control the use of mercury in gold mining. Industry leaders need to invest in safer and more sustainable mining technologies. And consumers can do their part by demanding gold products that are mined responsibly and without harming the environment. Stricter regulations and support for safer mining technologies are crucial. Implementing advanced technologies and safer mining practices not only minimizes the negative environmental impact but also protects the health of those working in the gold mining industry. Modern equipment and safer mining processes can reduce risks and increase mining efficiency. By embracing alternative solutions and demanding transparency, we can create a more equitable and sustainable future for all. Alternative gold mining methods, such as using cyanide instead of mercury, can significantly reduce the negative environmental impact. Transparency in mining practices and the involvement of local communities are also essential to ensure that the benefits of gold mining are shared equitably and sustainably.